Hi guys, thanks for tuning in and in this video I'm gonna compare the Zcam E2 F6 against the Red Dragon if the overall expensive Red Dragon is really better than the Zcam E2 F6 you're gonna find out in this video. Coming up! Hi guys, my name is Paul, I'm a German filmmaker and this channel is all about filmmaking, gear reviews but also Da Vinci Resolve tutorials. So if that's something that you're interested in, consider subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. So as I've already said, in this video I compare the Zcam E2 F6 against the Red Dragon. Please keep in mind that we only had like a total of three hours for comparing these cameras, including, um, yeah, viewing the footage and all that and uh, as you may know I already made a in-depth comparison between the Zcam E2 F6 against the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K which I will link down below for you here as well. Therefore there I had about one week to compare both of these cameras. So and before I'm gonna show you any footage I want to also make clear that to have yeah at least more or less the same results we shoot in uh, Apple ProRes because on the Zcam E2 F6 I can't edit zero because I've used the Rinchy Resolve and also the plugin doesn't work for me. So to make it more simple, uh, we shot in Apple ProRes and we also shot uh, using yeah, false color exposure to make all that happen. So if we take now a closer look onto the footage, we did a bunch of tests inside uh, the studio and also a little bit of outside as well as overexposure test and underexposure. If we look at both cameras side by side um, at yeah, zero exposure basically, uh, we see that both of them look really similar in terms of highlights, shadows and all that. Um, color wise they both are very different as you might know the red has a little like the green tint and the Z cam is a little bit more magenta so depends on what you prefer basically but uh, that's easily correctable in post. So but I, what I was really surprised of we intentionally placed this uh, blue LED light uh, in the frame to test which camera can handle um, this intense color better and here we clearly see that the red has an edge over there because we here yeah, in the Z cam it's just too kind of oversaturated and you don't have much detail there whereas with the red you have all that yeah how to say color range uh, yeah so that one looked better to me in my opinion. If we underexpose both cameras we can clearly see that the Zcam E2 F6 does better in terms of noise. Uh, yeah, it has a bigger sensor so it should be clear but it's not a huge difference I would say. So in overexposure I think both of them are kind of similar. I wouldn't really use either of them uh, yeah, below three stops under or two stops over. I think that's for both of them the maximum. So but then we went outside and here I could figure out the difference. We also shot both cameras in the exact same uh, let's say scenario. We had different lenses although but overall in terms of dynamic range I think the red has an edge here. It's not a huge difference but it's there especially if you watch in the highlights over the trees uh, you have less information there in the Z cam as you have in the red. I also think that the color science of the Zcam is for my taste a little bit better but uh, the codecs are there to uh, manipulate the footage however you want to but from my personal opinion I think um, yeah the Zcam has better uh, color out of camera I would say but anyway um, both cameras are great. So now let's come to the overall conclusion from this short test right here. I would say I really overall prefer the red because uh, it has these R3D files to edit and also Apple ProRes whereas on the Zcam it's a little bit cumbersome um, using RAW also externally you can't use it in DaVinci Resolve which I'm added on so um, there's a huge difference there and personally when I spend that much of money for like 6k or even above I want to have a camera that can also shoot RAW and that's not really the case with um, the Zcam. 
I hope that's gonna be improved in the future. But overall, from the test that I did, I really like the camera. I also like the image and the sensor and the full frame look and all that. But I think personally for me, I stick to my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera or uh, in future with the Red Komodo because I think uh, the codecs that you have there and also the, the raw codec is much better on the Red as on the and also on the Blackmagic Pocket as on the Z Cam. And I also found that, yeah, you had a lot of quirks with the camera also because I had a huge delay over HDMI and then Zcam told me I had to toggle off certain features to have a less delay. And I'm not sure why that is um, because on the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera, I don't have that much of delay because and also if you if I toggle on every feature that I need to meaning LUTs meaning false color and all that kind of stuff and yeah in summary that was a little bit cumbersome for me and I think Zcam has to improve that in the future but Zcam has already shown us that they can make a great camera with a great shape uh, and overall I like the image so I think they have just to improve like the software and the user experience a little bit to be head to head with the other companies out there. So that was the short test from my side. If you have any further questions just drop them down in the comments below and if you like this channel please like subscribe you know how that game works and I'm gonna see you in my very next video. Cheers!